Hello and welcome to the video for the homework for fifth grade for Friday, April the 24th. Uh, this is going to cover our lesson working with uh, multiple step problems, working with unit conversions. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problems. So number two, we have a 10 ounce package of vegetables, 14 ounce package of rice, and 40 ounces of chicken. If I add all three of those together, I get 64 ounces. We have uh, 16 ounces in a pound. And so if I do my division, we would get four pounds. Number two, uh, or sorry, number four, we have three quarts of sports drink. Um, to get to a unit of measurement that makes sense and we're not working with parts of a whole, like three quarters of a cup would be the equivalent to this. Um, we're gonna do three quarts times two to get six pints, six pints times two cups uh, to get 12 cups, 12 cups times eight ounces to get 96 ounces, and then we would do uh, 96. Oh, I actually made a mistake here. 96 divided by eight, or sorry, no, 96 divided by 16 players, sorry. No, I did that right. Um, gives us six ounces per player, which is not very much if you've played sports. Um, this is a good example of something that might actually happen, but maybe the numbers don't match up with what we would actually want to see. Uh, number six, an office supply company is shipping a case of pencils. There are 64 boxes of pencils in the case. Um, each box of pencil weighs 2.5 ounces. Um, when I started talking about this, this is not supposed to be a number. That is supposed to be the line that connects my division symbols. So uh, 64 uh, times 2.5 gives us this. So our partial products, <clears throat> uh, 64 times 2 is 128. Uh, and then half of 64 is 32. That gives us 160. 160 divided by 16 gives us 10 pounds. Uh, number eight, Olivia ties 2.5 feet of ribbon uh, to a balloon. If we do that, we would have 36 plus nine as my partial products. That would give me 45 uh, feet. 45 feet divided by three would give us 15 yards. So um, this is one um, that I kind of think there might be more than one possible answer depending on how you interpret the problem. So the way that I did it was I said that the window was four feet high and the bottom of the window is two and a half feet above the floor. So I'm saying that the size of the window is four feet and it sits two and a half feet above the floor. So if we take it all the way to the floor, we get 6.5 feet. Um, that comes out to... Um, 72 inches for the six feet part plus the half foot would give us six inches that would give us 78 inches um the other way that you could possibly interpret that which would give you a slightly different answer um which could make sense but i don't think is the correct answer is we could say that the window starts four feet off the ground and we would just do this times 12 and we would say that uh, if we started from the top of the window and went all the way to the floor um, that that would give us 48 inches however i think the way that i did it here would be the correct way they're saying that the window the size of the window is four feet when they're saying it's four feet high they're not saying it starts four feet above the ground um, in my opinion so uh, number two uh, we are working with gallons of fertilizer. We can multiply um, by four to get the number of quarts. So we would start with 12 quarts of fertilizer. We have one quart left over when we're done, which means they used 11 quarts uh, to spray the lawn. So those were the problems for you today. Hopefully that makes sense for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to post in Google Classroom what your question is, and I'll be happy to uh, give you some explanation and talk you through that and help you understand it better. So hope you have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday.